This video will demonstrate how to use Google Forms and the Forms add-on Form Ranger to create registration limits on registration forms. To get started, let's head on over to a registration form in Google Forms. So here I have a registration form. You'll notice it has a question for first name, last name, email address, and then the registration question that we really need to pay attention to at the bottom, which session would you like to attend? In this case, I just put session one, session two, and session three. The first thing we need to do is in our form, click responses, and then we need to create a response spreadsheet. So I'm going to go ahead and create a response spreadsheet. And once I'm in that response spreadsheet, I'm just going to make a new tab at the bottom. I'll change the name from sheet two. And in this spreadsheet, we have to do a few things before we can get our form ranger going. We're going to name a couple of columns. We're going to name column A, revised session name. We're going to name column B, original session name. We're going to name column C, session count. And we're going to name session D, session limit. So we're going to use some formulas to right here to tell form ranger when we want to close these sessions. So. I'll start with column B and we're going to set all of our original session names. Now when you're in here it's really important that you have the session names that are here in your spreadsheet are absolutely identical in spelling and everything to the sessions on the responses you want to replace. Next thing we'll do is go to session limit. So how many people do I want to be in each one of these sessions? And just for our demonstration purposes, I'm going to say 1, 10, and 10. So now we're going to write a little formula that's going to count every time someone signs up for session 1. The type of formula we're going to use is count if. So we're going to go in this column C, and we're going to type the equal sign, then count if, and you'll see that kind of populates there for us. And then we're going to say, so what are we going to count? We're going to count if, over in our form responses 1, column E, so I just highlighted this column E, then I can go back over here, and then I'll put a comma, and then I'll just click this B2. So this little formula right now says we're going to count whatever is in form responses 1, column E, if it's the same as what's in B2. And right now you see that counts at zero. And I'm just going to carry that formula all the way down the line by a little double clicking that little square that pops up. Now that we have set a session limit in column D and written a formula in column C to count every time someone selects that session, the next thing we have to do is look at column A, the revised session names, and write a formula that will help our spreadsheet tell the form you will add on when to change the name of our session from whatever the name of the session is to something that indicates the session is full. To do that we're going to use an if statement. So I'm going to go ahead and start typing in cell A2 equals if, and then I'll open my parentheses. So we're going to say if the session count in C2, so I'll click C2, is less than, so I'm going to put the less than sign, D2 so if C2 is less than D2, comma, we want it to stay with B2. So if this um, column C is smaller than column D, we want to remain with the name session 1. We're going to put another comma, and now we'll tell the spreadsheet what to do if C2 is not less than D2. And in that case, we're just going to type a little response. The session is full. Please select a different session. We'll close our parentheses and hit enter. And you'll notice that when I did that, C2 right now is less than D2, so it named a session one. Then I'm gonna find this little square in the bottom of bottom right of A2, double click that to carry that formula all the way down to the rest of my spreadsheet. So now that we've set up these formulas, we're gonna head back on over to our Google Form and we're going to open the Form Ranger add-on. If you don't already have the Form Ranger add-on, you just click the three dots, click Add-ons, and search for Form Ranger. So I'll go ahead and click my Add-ons and click Form Ranger. Then I'll hit Start. And once Form Ranger loads up, we'll see here a little drop-down list with all of the multiple choice questions or drop-down list questions that are in this form. In this case, we only have one. 
So I'm going to check the box that says Populate from Values List, and then I'm going to select my Values List by using this drop-down menu, and I'll click New Values List. Then Form Ranger is going to ask me which sheet in my Google Drive I want to look at. So I'll click here on this Form Re Ranger Registration Responses, hit Select, and I say, all right, well, which sheet are we looking at? So I'm going to go from Form Responses 1 to that sheet we called Form Ranger. And then we'll see that we have those revised session names, sessions 1, 2, and 3. So then it's also going to ask us down here, which column header should we be looking at? And that's the revised session names. Because remember, we use that formula from the original session name to change the name if that session is full. So now I'm going to hit Next. This part is really important if you have more than one um, values list in your form. So if let's say you have three different sessions and you're, ca you're counting the responses on each one of them individually, you want to make sure you name this session one selection and name the second one session two selection and the third one session three selection. So now we'll go ahead and hit save and populate questions. The last two things I want to look at are down here at the bottom of the form ranger pop-up. We can hit refresh questions, which will just check that spreadsheet to make sure the answer choices are most current. And then the next thing we'll look at is when do we want to auto-populate questions? And we want to go ahead and do that on form submit. So every time someone submits a form, Form Ranger is going to refer to that spreadsheet and see if they have to change the name of a session. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and fill out this form and see what happens. So now we'll go ahead and submit this form and see what it looks like both on our spreadsheet and when we go to fill out this form again. So over on my spreadsheet, we'll see that we have submitted this one one time, the session limit is 1, and we'll see now that the revised session name is this session is full, please select a different session. So let's go back to our form and try to submit another response, and we'll see that session 1 has been replaced with this session is full, please select a different session. This has been a brief demonstration on how to use the Google Form add-on Form Ranger to limit the responses to Google Form multiple choice questions. I hope you found it useful. Use the comments below for any suggestions, feedback, or if you have a better way of completing the same process. Thanks, and have a great day.